Hollywood comes TV's bright new performing panel show, Musical Chair. Starring the genial Georgia gentleman who writes America's favorite songs, Johnny Mercer. A man of many voices, including that of Buck Bunny and Jack Benny Maxwell, Mel Blank. Tonight's special guest, lovely songstress Helen O'Connell. And the shy young composer, pianist, writer of many hit songs, Bobby Troop. Now these are the personalities together with the cheerleaders and the troop group playing musical chairs. Brought to you tonight by Band-Aid plastic strips with super stick that stick to you better than any other bandage. Tums for the tummy, fast on the spot relief for heartburn, acid indigestion. And Griffin, makers of Griffin Micro Sheen, your shine of shines and other fine shoe polishes. And now meet the moderator of musical chairs, the man who keeps order among our zany personalities, Bill Layton. Thank you. Thank you. At least we've improved. We've uh, come out of the inside sling out the eyes. This, this is the Hollywood uh, sling made for the arm here. It uh, has a therapeutic value. You see, when you don't need it anymore, you can tack it on a board and play 26 different games on it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another session of musical chairs, if you're still watching after last week. And, of course, our panel is, is uh, really loaded with top celebrities in the music world. And, of course, we're going to try to make them take their hurdles uh, by acting out the questions of music, which you have asked us. We use your mail completely, and we're here to have just a lot of fun. Now, uh, incidentally, if we use your suggestion, if we use your question, you will automatically receive a very beautiful RCA Victor product. Now, this is the amazing new Slumber King clock radio. Now, it uh, has a golden throat tone, of course, and it, it changes stations while you sleep. You can save a lot of money. You may go to bed listening to All Night Net and wake up in Rome. Who knows? It's very well. <laughs> and if you stump our chairsters, you'll win this RCA Victor 21-inch mahogany console TV set. This is called the Gladstone, and it has the new high and easy tuning and 212% greater picture contrast, and that's quite an electronic achievement. Now, we have our first puzzler. By the way, our musical mailbag was loaded after last week's show, and we hope we'll use some of your questions tonight. The first one from Mrs. Inez Cafaro of Memphis, Tennessee, who wonders if you chairsters can guess some pretty well-known occupations suggested just by song titles. Now, we're going to play three tunes for you, each of which should bring to mind one particular line of endeavor. Now, I just want you to get all three right, or the TV set is on its way. And here's the troop group with the first tune, and what occupation does this suggest? <laughs> about this, and which I never am, uh, Bobby had his hand up first, but let's call on the pretty part of the panel first, <laughs> lovely Helen O'Connor. Uh, I've got a crush on you. Could it be someone who uh, makes wine, crushes grapes with their feet? Good. Very good. That's a very good answer. Bobby, you keep out of this. Now, <laughs> Was that your answer? No, we have, to, we have to come up, Helen, with the answer that Mrs. Caffaro well, has. I guess he'd be a grape crusher or a winemaker. Uh, I think we're, we're laboring under California influence is where this <laughs> show uh, um, Johnny? a fellow who's incarcerated. He makes big ones out, little ones out of big ones. Now, just, just a minute uh, uh, for this incarcerated thing uh, about your new song, the big hit that you've written. Uh, I don't know what that word means, and there's another, he's got something's got to <laughs> give, and your, when your old implacable in, heart is not, no, what is... No, no, it's implacable, implacable. You think we're going to bring in all those records? <laughs> <laughs> better, better not. <laughs> they can say implacable. What does what implacable mean? Implacable? Mm -hmm. Means you won't give up. You wrote it, I mean, you know, it means you won't give won't up. Won't be changed. <laughs> all right, well, it looks like your panel's going to have to give up, because this is, this is not the occupation... Uh, that was in our lab. I thought it was a very good answer to the question. I think it should be accepted. I did yeah. too. I'm, I'm with you, Bob. Ignoring Bobby. To be arrested. <laughs> incidentally, Bobby has received this week the Jeter Lester Award for being the only Hollywood musician not to wear naughty pine shoulder pads. Right <laughs> <laughs> about the whole thing. No, that was wrestler. We had to get it right. We had to get wrestler right. Oh, that's or we have to call. Was so to we we have lost. But to save face, see if we can get the last two portions of this question correctly. We're calling upon the cheerleaders next who will give us our next clue for an occupation. Someday your figure will start to spread. Your ball and arches will drop like lead. You find your beautiful smile has fled. No hair on top of your shiny head. Don't let the wrinkles upset you. I'll still be happy I met you. Have a hand here from 
Bobby Troop at the end of our panel. All right, Bobby. Well, this, this has got to be right. I think the title of the song is Darn It, That's Love, Baby, Wait, or something like that. Maybe? That's right. Darn, isn't that right, Julie? This Darn It, That Baby, That's well, Love. Why do they keep it such a mystery? Because they didn't, they didn't sing the title. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a cute song, but I never heard it. So this would be a grape crusher. <laughs> No, this would be a, a seamstress or a Right, tailor. seamstress. Yeah. Not just All right, a seamstress. <laughs> oh, Bobby's got to go. Oh, here's our, answer, here's our band again with our, our last clue. <laughs> See if we can get this one. <laughs> Mel Blank with a very fast and handy hand uh, here. This is after you've gone, uh, or after you're gone. Right. And I think it uh, could only mean one thing, and that's a mortician. <laughs> Don't keep me in suspense, is it right? It's absolutely right, we just killed that question. We didn't get three out of three, so Mrs. Caffaro, you'll receive your RCA 21-inch uh, Victor-type television set, all right? <laughs> now, whatever your occupation, incidentally, you'll be interested in this next message that we have for you. It's a message of a special importance. We'll be back. Here's proof of the amazing sticking power of the new Band-Aid plastic strips with Super Stick. Band-Aid plastic strips stick to you better than any other bandage. Look, no other bandage before Super Stick could lift an egg just by touching it. A Band-Aid plastic strip can, and it stays stuck, even in boiling water. What's more practical, it stays stuck to you better than any other bandage. In the hottest, soapiest dishwater, your Band-Aid plastic strip stays snug and neat. It won't loosen in water. No other bandage gives you super stick. No other stays on so well. And here's proof of the amazing sticking power of the new Band-Aid plastic strips with super stick. Made only by Johnson & Johnson, the most trusted name in surgical dressing. Band-Aid plastic strips with Super Stick. Now here's a highlight of musical chairs where our panel have to make up an, uh, an ad lib song, an, an impromptu song, right on the spot here, using as their only inspiration as a title or a, uh, any expression at all sent in by one of you viewers. Now, of course, Bobby starts with the jingle, and you'll have the first line. Helen, you'll have the second and have to rhyme it, please. The third goes to Mel Blank, and the Savannah Flash, Mr. Johnny Mercer with the snapperoo. All right, Paul Steele of uh, Lima, Ohio, suggested this week's topic, and you're about to make up a song right on the spot. The subject, the do-it-yourself phrase. Do-it-yourself is the latest craze. I stole your line. <laughs> Almost anything yourself these days. Good. Good? Bobby, you keep up. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle bought a furniture kit for $12.98. <laughs> uh, he sawed off a leg, but the table looked great. <laughs> Let's go around once more, Bobby. I wish I could get the last line. Nobody ever laughed at my line. <laughs> they've, they've got every time, you know, they've got every kind of kit for do-it-yourself. Hey! 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 Very funny line. All right, now me too. Uh, uh, you can build a chair or a kitchen shelf. Dad's been building a den in the rear. <laughs> he just phoned and said, how do you get out of here? <laughs> oh, I tell you, never worry about Dad himself, Johnny Mercer, old Daddy Longlegs himself. A very wonderful line. Thank you, Paul, for that question. We'll send you your radio. Now, 
We'd like to announce right here that Bobby Troop was especially pleased to find so many people across the country uh, knew him from his songs and his recordings. The kid has written hits while well, he was in his teens when he wrote one of our greatest hits, Daddy, and has just gone on from there. Well, one of our viewers, Polly Lewis of New York City, has submitted a question based on a song that Bobby does so well. And uh, so, Bobby, if you'll go back to the Frankenstein way there, and if all of you panelists will listen closely, we'll ask a musical question later based on the song that Bobby Troop will do for us now. It's called Heidi. <laughs> gal by the name of Heidi who is just as lazy as she can be but what do I care long as I know Heidi is so doggone crazy for me who's got eyes so droopy and set truest girl I ever had who's my female bodyguard that's Heidi my Saint Bernard whose disposition Sweet than pie. Cocker spaniels give her the eye. Who stops traffic on the boulevard? That's Heidi by St. Bernard. Gee, Bob. <laughs> I know you feel badly about not having your dog here, but maybe I can help out. How about me giving you a bar well, like Heidi? It's it wonderful if you would, Mel. Oh, I'll be, be very, very glad. glad to. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. St. Bernard, Mel, is a big dog. Big, big, big than that. massive. Well, that's, that's when it was a pup. No, no. You want it bigger than that? Big, bigger How about... than that. Bigger. <laughs> no, you're missing the whole point. That's more like a schnauz. It's a middle size dog. The Snake Bernard is the biggest of all dogs. Oh, no, real big. Real the big. biggest. Oh, oh, sure. Oh, it's got to be right because the lady that taught me to do it is right here. I'll bring her. What let show you. Right. Who sent that man best friend to dawn? Most girls you meet Thursday night. They're gone by Friday. But not Heidi, she never says that. I don't buy a sable coat at the store. Her coat is something you can disregard with Heidi. My beautiful Saint Bernard. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, Bobby, and thank you, Heidi. Heidi, we want to congratulate who is rather new to show business. Uh, she recently was drummed out of the Swiss Alp Rescue Corps for continually sampling her first aid kit. <laughs> and thing. So now she's, she's here. She started the New York. Bobby, did you ever, ever work with uh, Heidi? <laughs> no. I, mean, I used to know some musicians that <laughs> looked a little bit like it. Yeah. <laughs> she reminds me of a girlfriend I had in Tacoma. <laughs> well, I want you to know Bobby and I both like her, don't we, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> well, they always said we follow an animal act. This is wonderful. Now, here's the question based on the song Bobby just sang with the help of Heidi. The Polly Lewis wants your chairs to take the one word title of the song Heidi, H E I D I. And for each letter of the title, give us another one-word song title that starts with the letter that I've chosen for you. For instance, the first letter, H, uh, could suggest a one-word song title, Hallelujah, but don't use this one. Uh, uh, give us another one-word title for each of the letters in Heidi. And Johnny, I'm going to start with you, and we'll stick you with the letter H. You just took my only H. <laughs> uh, one-word song title. Ooh. I can't think of one. Can't you pass me now? No, you're <laughs> it. I'll give you about five more seconds. Oh, I can't think of a one-word title. You're not, you're not, no, 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 no cheating, Bobby. No, no cheating, no cheating, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> has to be far and square. Hindustan. Right, that's good. it. All right, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right. Bobby, <laughs> let's skip down to the other end of the panel and call upon you, Bobby. Uh, you take the second letter, E. Well, it was all set for I. I know you were. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Ethel. 
Ethel, this is a song? It's a song. Joe Graydon wrote a song called Ethel. All right, we'll take that because Joe Graydon is a songwriter. Mel, now we'll call upon you for a one-word song title beginning with the letter I. Um, uh, Imagination. Good, beautiful ballad. Imagination. Helen, you get D. Oh, I'm so lucky. I bet you uh, got better in school. <laughs> do it again. All right. That's a, but no, wait a minute. Wait. What am I saying? Well, that's a three. Oh, one word. One, one word. word. One word. Uh, is there something called devastation? Or something? Uh, let's see. Well, I don't know. Uh, I have a list here. Wait. Yeah. been a lot of them last year. There were two of them. Don't tell me. I'm going to cheat. No, well, we'll have to call time on that. It could have been Daybreak, or, or Daddy, Bobby Troop's big Daddy. tune. Daddy. Dream. Dream. Darlene, Delicato. Is that Delicata. what you're going to tell me? No, Dream. That's what I tell you, Johnny. Uh, okay, we have to call that one a miss, though. It was a, a wonderful try. All and these Miss, people should be miss very Lewis grateful will send you an RCA Victor TV set for that question because you did stump the panel. Now, I'd like you to listen to some sage advice, if you will, from a very good friend of ours. This is Ben Grauer with a message for everyone. Acid indigestion and heartburn get you down so you can't work, can't eat, can't sleep properly? Then take Tums, because Tums quickly soothe and settle upset stomach. Acid indigestion and heartburn go fast. Tums, still only 10 cents a roll. Three roll package a quarter everywhere. Whether your acid indigestion comes from hurry and worry, smoking too much, or something you ate, you'll find Tums the handiest little friend your tummy ever had. At the first sign of stomach distress, eat a couple of tasty little Tums. Almost instantly, heartburn and acid indigestion fade away. You feel good again. Millions of Americans don't suffer when acid indigestion strikes because they carry Tums as faithfully as they carry their key. Remember, always carry handy little Tums for the tummy. Now, with great regret, we're going to have some acting from the panel. It's our, our weekly low light, where Shakespeare doesn't quite make it. Our chairs do act out a dramatic sketch that should suggest a well-known uh, current hit. Now, we're going to call upon John and Bob to remain at the panel and guess the song title. And uh, acting out the scene will be Marlon Blank and Tallulah Rue O'Connell. Remember, the last line should suggest the name of the popular hit. Now, the scene of this week's uh, low-octane drama is in old Mexico. Here I am in the land of torrid rhythms and tempestuous romance. Wild adventure awaits me with a tall, dark, handsome Mexican gaucho. And here comes my hero now. <laughs> Are you my hero? Si. <laughs> A torrid Latin lover? Si. <laughs> Can you make my heart throb with romance? Si. <laughs> uh, what is your name? Sign. Sign. Si. Now listen, are you sure you're a Latin lover? Si, pardon me for talking in your face, senorita, but I am known as the greatest lover in the country. I'm not bad in the city, neither. I mean, you're quite a man, huh? Si, when I appeared on the beach at Acapulco, children shrieked, women fainted, strong men grew weak. Ooh, they admired your magnificent physique. <laughs> no, I forgot my bathing suit. <laughs> you know, I think there are better men up in America. Oh, no, no, you are wrong, senorita. American men cannot do the cha-cha-cha like I can. No? American men cannot do the mamba like I can. <laughs> I think. Yes, but yeah. American men can sing American rhythms, like the uh, boogie-woogie and the... Uh, Bebop and the blues. <laughs> I like the blues. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I cannot sing boogie woogie or bebop, but I am. Cut. 
All right, now, Mel's last line was that I cannot sing Boogie Boogie or Bebop, but I am. This last line should be a... Bobby, you think you know it? I think we both know What is it, fellas? Learn the, Learn, blues. Learn the Blues. All right, that's right. You guessed it. Thank you, Mr. Hardy, for sending in that sketch and receive your radio for that. Now, here's a stumper that calls for a quick bit of masterminding from you. It was submitted by Mrs. Lita Franks of Augusta, Maine. You'll hear only the first few notes of a series of well-known tunes. Your job to identify each tune. Sound easy, but it'll have to be 100% correct or it doesn't count. Here's the first. What's the tune? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's it. Or, what, Bobby, you think you know? Mel? Scatterbrain? That's right, it was Scatterbrain. You want to play a few bars? You know that. That's enough. That's enough just to show you the all right, now we're going to have the, uh, the cheerleaders sing this next one. Just a few notes and see if you can identify the tune, okay? You got it. <laughs> well, we have a fast hand here. How about you, Johnny Mercer? Accent. She rate the positive. No? Uh, what a ham bone no, I have. No, no. <laughs> one, one guess, one miss. All right, cheerleaders, you want to continue? Can it win a little. Yeah. Yeah. Want to continue? Okay, let's, ha let's have the rest of it. You gotta give a little, take a little. Uh -huh. And let your poor heart break a little. That's the story That's right. of, that's the story that We knew of that'd be a fooler. Thank you, cheerleaders. They're a wonderful group. That was the fooler. It was the glory of love. We thought you'd miss this one. Yeah, that's no, no, it has to be. It has to be as our. Viewers. Boy, it's going to be like it is on that paper. You don't give anything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> next week an all-new panel. A new <laughs> All right, here's our last one. Few notes. Guess the tune. <laughs> Helen, think you know it? It's like wishing we make it so. And that's yeah. absolutely right. Thank you very much. <laughs> So uh, we have to call out a miss because that's to be one, two, three question. And thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Franks, and you'll get your 21-inch TV set. Now, we'd like to acknowledge about 500 cards and letters from last week asking that we have Johnny Mercer sing the great hit he wrote for the score, in which he wrote the whole score of the 20th Century Fox picture, Daddy Longlegs, starring Leslie Caron and Fred Astaire. And Johnny, we can't let our customers go away disappointed, so how about joining that irresistible force, Helen O'Connell, and move your old implacable... <laughs> Feet closer to the cameras for a duet of Something's Gotta Give. <laughs> oh, Maybelline, come on. You don't want to go dancing to Lawrence Welk, do you? <laughs> Cole Porter? Who's he? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll see you, honey, huh? Bye-bye. <laughs> When an irresistible force such as you meets an old immovable object like me, you can bet as sure as you live. Some gotta give, some gotta give, some gotta give. Give, something's gotta give, something's gotta give.
shoes quick. Shine shoes slick. Griffin polish does the trick. Here's our campus hero, Mike Rosheen, idol of every campus queen. He shines his shoes with Mike Rosheen. A Griffin triumph, your shine of shines, gleams at a brush stroke, saves your time. Glows like a jewel, revives scuffed leather. Last days longer in any weather. Eight colors and neutral. The best shine yet. Griffin Micro Sheen, that's the shine to get. But look, who's this with trim white feet? Annabelle All White. <whistles> She's sweet. Griffin All White keeps her white shoes neat. It's super white bright, so easy to use, super rub off resistant, protects white shoes. New Griffin All White keeps white shoes white. Gee, that was a short half hour by my fractured watch here. It's time to go. That's musical chairs for tonight. And if you'd like to win one of those RCA radios or television sets, well, all you have to do to make our panelists sit up and take notice of your questions is send your question on any phase of music to this simple address, to musical chairs, Hollywood 28, California. The questions will be judged on originality and aptness of thought. And in case of duplicates, the one with the earliest postmark is the favorite. And of course, we may edit them a little bit and they become our property and all that legal hodgepodge and things. We may, you know, change them around, but it's all right. Now we'll see what happens next week when our cherishers try to do your bidding. So until next week at the same time, it's good night to our anchor man, America's great songwriter, Mr. Johnny Mercer. Good night, Will. Good night, Johnny. Good night to our man of many voices. Wonderful having you with us, Mr. Mel Blank. See? And to the pretty part of our panel, and we needed her, too, <laughs> with that green-eyed Helen O'Connell. <laughs> They're really blue. My Mexican friend here taught me to say, I'm as famous. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, there's Sly Sam, our piano man, the Taylor's favorite. Thank you for bringing, <laughs> for bringing your group along. Bobby Troop. This is your musical chairman, Bill Layton, saying be with us next week when our special guest will be Miss June Christie. Good night. <laughs> Don't forget, tune in again next week when musical chairs will be presented by SOS. SOS Magic Scouring Pads, SOS Cleans and Shines Pots and Pans by SOS. Griffin, makers of Griffin Micro Sheen, your shine of shines and other fine shoe polishes. And Tums for the Tummy, fast on the spot relief for heartburn, acid indigestion. Our special guest will be June Christie. This is Arch Presby saying good night for musical jazz.